from the recesses of a lowly spirit by sir john bowering from the world's best poetry volume four the higher life part one read for LibriVox.org by craig franklin from the recesses of a lowly spirit from the recesses of a lowly spirit our humble prayer ascends o father hear it up soaring on the wings of awe and meekness forgive its weakness we see thy hand it leads us it supports us we hear thy voice it counsels and it courts us and then we turn away and still thy kindness forgives our blindness o oh, how long suffering lord but thou delightest to win with love the wandering thou invited by smiles of mercy not by frowns or terrors man from his errors father and saviour plant within each bosom the seeds of holiness and bid them blossom in fragrance and in beauty bright and vernal and spring eternal the higher good by theodore parker from the world's best poetry volume four the higher life part one read for LibriVox.org by Lian yao the higher good father i will not ask for wealth or fame though once they would have joyed my carnal sense i shudder not to bear a hated name wanting all wealth myself my sole defence but give me lord eyes to behold the truth a seeing sense that knows the eternal right a heart with pity filled and gentlest ruth a manly faith that makes all darkness light give me the power to labour for mankind make me the mouth of such as cannot speak eyes let me be to groping men and blind a conscience to the base and to the weak let me be hands and feet and to the foolish mind and lead still further on such as thy kingdom seek o master let me walk with thee by washington gladden from the world's best poetry volume four how the higher life part one read for librivox dot org by lian yao o master let me walk with thee o master let me walk with thee in lowly paths of service free tell me thy secret help me bear the strain of toil the fret of care help me the slow of heart to move by some clear winning word of love teach me the wayward feet to stay and guide them in the homeward way o master let me walk with thee before the taunting pharisee help me to bear the sting of spite the hate of men who hide thy light the sore distrust of souls sincere who cannot read thy judgments clear the dullness of the multitude who dimly guess that thou art good teach me thy patience still with thee in closer dearer company in work that keeps faith sweet and strong in trust that triumphs over wrong in hope that sends a shining ray far down the future's broadening way in peace that only thou canst give with thee o master let me live the fight of faith by n eskew from the world's best poetry volume four the higher life part one read for librivox dot org by sonia the fight of faith the author of this poem one of the victims of the persecuting henry the eighth was burned to death at smithfield in fifteen forty six it was made and sung by her while a prisoner in newgate like as the armed nighter appointed to the field with this world will i fight and faith shall be my shield faith is that weapon strong which will not fail at need my foes therefore among therewith will i proceed as it is head in strength and forces of christ's way it will prevail at length though all the devils say nay faith of the fathers old obtain it right witness which makes me very bold to fear no world's distress 
i now rejoice in hearte and hope bides me do so for christ will take my part and ease me of my woe thou sayest lord who so knocke to them wilt thou attend undo therefore the lock and thy strong power send more enemies now i have than hairs upon my head let them not me deprave but fight thou in my stead on thee my care i cast for all their cruel spite i set not by their hast for thou art my delight i am not she that list my anchor to let fall for every drizzling mist my ship's substantial not oft i used to write in prose nor yet in rhyme yet will i show one sight that i saw in my time i saw a royal throne where justice should have sit but in her stead was one of moody cruel wit absorbed was right witness as by the raging flood satan in his excess sucked up the guiltless blood then thought i jesus lord when thou shalt judge us all hard is it to record on these men what will fall yet lord i thee desire for that they do to me let them not taste the higher of their iniquity my times are in thy hand by christopher newman hall from the world's best poetry volume four the higher life part one read for LibriVox.org by craig franklin my times are in thy hand my times are in thy hand i know not what a day or e'en an hour may bring to me but i am safe while trusting thee though all things fade away or weakness i on him rely who fixed the earth and spread the starry sky my times are in thy hand pale poverty or wealth corroding care or calm repose spring's balmy breath or winter's snows sickness or buoyant health whate'er betide if god provide tis for the best i wish no lot beside my times are in thy hand should friendship pure illume and strew my path with fairest flowers or should i spend life's dreary hours in solitude's dark gloom thou art a friend till time shall end unchangeably the same in thee all beauties blend my times are in thy hand many or few my days i leave with thee this only pray that by thy grace i every day devoting to thy praise may ready be to welcome thee when e'er thou comes to set my spirit free my times are in thy hand howe'er those times may end sudden or slow my soul's release midst anguish frenzy or in peace i'm safe with christ my friend if he is nigh howe'er i die twill be the dawn of heavenly ecstasy my times are in thy hand to thee i can entrust my slumbering clay till thy command bids all the dead before thee stand awaking from the dust beholding thee what bliss twill be with all thy saints to spend eternity to spend eternity in heaven's unclouded light from sorrow sin and frailty free beholding and resembling thee o too transporting sight prospect too fair for flesh to bear haste haste my lord and soon transport me there <laughs>